In this reaction, chlorine from a cylinder is used. For the reactive alkali metals, the tube is first purged with argon. The exhaust gas is bubbled through strong sodium hydroxide solution, which also allows some control over its flow rate. The chlorine gas is then admitted to the tube, and you can see its pale yellow-green colour. A small butane torch is used to provide heating. The metal, which has been cleaned and stored under argon, melts at 180 degrees, and then undergoes a very vigorous reaction with the chlorine gas. This highly exothermic reaction produces enough energy for lithium to displace boron and silicon from the glass. The black material fused within the molten glass contains these elements.